one more second. One piece. A crumb. Fade. Fade. <coughs> Shank. Not, not again. Not again! He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might make up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Mm. Better. something. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked.
bite marks. Morkvark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dull. Ah! Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Where's the key? All I have in the chapter house, the crate, but the key, where's the key? Why so silent, Ramond? You thief, you rogue, you horse you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, <laughs> idiot, stupid prick! The curse uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Undo, undo the curse. Free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems it didn't work out. Those who come rarely introduce themselves. What did he look like? No idea. Then I cannot help you. I've shredded Benny. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted, raided, drunk most away, all but one. True treasure, head away, yours. Just help me. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst, not the garden to which I'm bound, even, but the hunger, anything I devour turns to ash, ash I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh. 
but the smallest morsel burns my throat, throat like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger, classic as curses go, goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. Wouldn't count on it. Fool, you can kill me once, twice, thrice, but in the end, I shall conquer. Best lift the curse. See if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this shite again! <laughs> Farewell. See you soon. Ideal friend. Patient. Doesn't mouth off. the key. Symbol of Freya. Untouched. No sign of feeding. 
Orkvog doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Chained me down. Locked me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite brought pain. And howling, I vomited blood. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. This was more. My mouth burned. Like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn. Felt I would die, <laughs> but I I did it, <laughs> and then <sighs> I shredded them, dashed them to bits, uh, made tiny crumbs uh, uh, of those plowing heroes. <laughs> Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. The moral is... You cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. Break any fetters. The curse. Free me, or uh, I'll return uh, to get you uh, again! Uh! Blood. 
Sam. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Ugh, putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk, even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Black magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends well. Never. I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Ciri is in danger? I like that even less. I understand. Still doesn't give us the right to... Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethics. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes in them. Sorry to bother you with my doubts. Please, Geralt. That's just it. Your please is never a request, only ever a command. But let's move on. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar. No, I... This is not the time to cheer up a corpse. A young woman, ashen hair, green eyes. What happened to her? She, she's Curse me! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No. 